the dust has not yet settled in the aftermath of the primary of uh, the All Progressives Congress APC, where a former Auditor General of the local government in Kogi State, Usman Ododo, emerged the winner of the governorship primary of the party. The election which was conducted uh, through a direct mode of election is said to have taken place in uh, 239 wards across the 21 local government areas of Kogi State. Mr. Ododo says, uh, I mean, he said to uphold 78,704 votes to defeat the six other contestants, uh, the incumbent governor, Yaya Bello, a few days before the primary, endorsed Mr. Ododo, and some people had to step down from him. Some of the aspirants in the race have since disowned the exercise and called it a fraud on a charade. Meanwhile, the APC, in a letter, uh, surface uh, show that the party has since forwarded the names of the candidates of uh, in the different uh, party governorship primary held in Imo, Bayelsa, and Kogi State has forwarded those names to INEC, which means, and uh, there, there you have it, that that letter has been received by the umpire showing that the party has decided on those that has emerged from the exercise. One of the contestants in that race in the governorship primary in Kogi State of the APC, Senator Smart Adeyemi, joins me live in the studio here to discuss the outcome and some of the issues that have been raised. Thank you so much, Senator, for joining us tonight. It's my pleasure being here once again. Uh, before the primary, you were on the program and you were very confident that you were going to win. What happened? Why were you beaten so badly? <laughs> Let me begin by saying that um, there was no election at all conducted. Really? There was no election. In your area or generally in Kogi In the state? whole state, there was no election. What they did was a selection. Who a did? sham. Who selected? A manipulation of people. It sits full at. What happened was, we were all at home. Everybody was set at his various uh, wards, all the contestants. And we are waiting, the INEC officials or the APC officials, none of them visited my ward. None of the contestants voted anywhere. I saw some of your, uh, in one of the videos you saw, produced you by saw some of the You saw the people that screaming, their, screaming that they've been waiting for six hours. Yeah. Nobody came. Nobody conducted any election. This is a rape of democracy. It is a treasonable offense. You know, it is manipulation at the highest order. It's deceitful. It is an ungodly act. Is it that unconstitutional? It is, is it that it undemocratic? Is only in your area. I'm or telling you. In the entire two over two hundred and thirty words. As, as a candidate, as I mean, as an aspirant for a state position, you have your coordinators all over the state, and they were there waiting. No material was taken given to anybody. What they did was to call the chairman of the local government areas and the chairman of the party, and handed over materials to them. And they, in turn, took these materials to their comfort zones, filled up the forms, and returned back to the uh, APC organizing committee, I mean, election committee that came. So we were standing there. I sent this a video where people were talking that they've been waiting till 2 p.m. There was no election anywhere. And the question is, why did you allow us to buy a form? If you have a system that would deny people to be voted for and to vote, then that is not democracy. That this, is a betrayal. This is some of your... These are some of the people screaming. They waited for hours. There was no, no, no election anywhere in Kobe but, West. But, but there are some state. other videos, Senator, yeah. that surfaced where we, we saw people on the queue that are being counted in that direct mode. Uh, this is it. What, what, what they have done, if you listen to them, you hear him say 10, 20, 100, 200. These are the... Um, state managed election in the residence and uh, secretariat of local government where they took people to. By the electoral act, you cannot conduct primary election outside the, a particular, the particular ward. So what they did was to get some few people and transport them to schools and counter them and create an impression that there was an election. There was no primary election anywhere. The, the, pan, the appeal panel got my petition. They are yet to respond to as to whether because we gave them the visual, but but what happened this evening? They came up with the list, you know, agreeing with the result, purported result, the the the, the, the handmade result. The fact is there was no election anywhere. Uh, Senator, if you say there was no election, yeah. 
results in that primary acid surfaced. The result you saw was the one represented by the, Pat the, the Patrick, uh, the Honorable Patrick, uh, uh, who served as secretary. So these are some of the, the chairman. And there's a whole lot of them these ones that were received. These ones were Look at it. They were written in the in the in the, in the residence of uh, local government chairman. Okay. What about the visual? We are the secretariat of our, of, our, of, our, of, our, of my ward. Nobody came there. Nobody was there. And you saw over three, four, five hundred people waiting. When they were tired, they left, and we still can't have about 500 people waiting. Now, what happened was they gave the, the ask the state security service or INEC. That was not where anybody supervised any election. What they did was to hand over this doc, this uh, electoral materials to the local government chairman, who in turn went to their comfort zone and hand picked about 200, 100 people to line up in their offices or in their uh, nearby schools. And they counted them and, create, and took the photograph, I mean, took the we video them to create an impression that was an election. There was no election anywhere. And they know there was no election. I was I mean, at the National Secretariat of APC today. They agree with me that they know there was no election. So you've, you've written a petition? I wrote, of course, written a petition to the committee. So that's the first step of and action. I've, not only that, I've written to the um, National Working Committee of the party, and I've told them they need there to act. And if they don't act, Nigerians are wiser now. It is not a question of my party. Is a question of the stuff of the, the candidate that is made of. Who is this candidate? What is his background? Is he somebody trustworthy? So people are not going to be voting on the basis of party any longer. It's on the basis of who is the character. If you impose a candidate with a lot of baggages, if you impose a candidate with questionable character of, of his past, people won't vote at the general election. Beyond the petition, yes. I mean, you are expected. Yes. Uh, under the, a simple concept of administrative law that yeah. you also need to uh, exercise and uh, uh, make sure that you use every measure internally yeah, of course. Uh, for, for your grievance before you now go. Yeah. Um, it does look to me, because of your anger and your grievance now, mm -hmm. is that someone was preferred over you. Sure. And you were not happy about it. More and the influence of that person has caused another person, whom you do not think befits the role, to have won that process. Is that a picture of things? It, it is more than that. The guy who won this, who purportedly to have won this election, happens to be the Auditor General of local government in my state. He is a cousin of the governor. He is from the same world with the governor. They, they are of the same pulling units. So if you allow this to go on, a time will come, a is governor it, will impose his own song on, 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 on the state. Okay, so you, you are thinking this is nepotism. Is, is, is the, 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 this is the worst form of nepotism in the first instance. Secondly... Because you were agitating for a Kogi Western uh, uh, Of course, we have, we have not... Someone been. from the, the Okun extraction to get the ticket, but this is not happening. And so uh, the, uh, the, 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 the response from the other side is that you are simply not happy because the, the governor had not picked you. It is beyond me. I'm talking about a struggle of a people who have been who have been oppressed and marginalized, a people who are highly educated, highly exposed, a people who are highly endowed, and we have not been allowed, given the chance to rule in the last since the creation of the state. Is it fair? See, there cannot be peace and stability of any political entity when there's no fairness, when there's no consideration of the feeling of the other person. Nobody is a slave. Nobody was conquered. Don't forget that we have some happy slaves. You know, happy slaves. These people who have been picked to, to act as if they are part of the ruling class. The fact is, my people deserve these thoughts. Since the creation of the state, we have not produced a governor, and I'm not in doubt that I'm competent, good enough, courageous enough, exposed enough to govern the state. And I have antecedent following me. And I know I have challenged all these other aspirants for a debate, including the young man that has been picked. This young man is a cousin of the governor. So what do you expect? Is it competent is what... character and, and, and in terms of profile and education, is it competent? Competence, de depending on how you define it. Competence as an accountant is different from an administrator. So what, what really happened? Because you're now describing this process as a charade and that is a fraud and uh, you it's are alleging... Betray betrayal of democracy itself, what they did. When you ask people to come out to Was vote... Was the exercise rigged? If it was rigged, that wouldn't be much of a problem. We agree, okay, rigging is, is something that is common in the election. This election never took place. 
I mean, what I'm telling you that the election never what, took place. What happened between you? How come six of our senator? What happened between you and Governor Yaya Bello? One would think that uh, you are a very close ally of yes. Governor Yaya Bello. Yeah, nothing that the interest of my people and the interest of his own people. That was where we parted with. He wanted his own people to run another eight years, making 16 years. I am saying my people have not had the opportunity to rule, and it's our turn. Look, look at it. Look at the video there yes. showing that. There are people that that was when the governor visited. This is in his own ward. What do you expect? This is when he went to his own community. Mm -hmm. Well, Senator, le let me put your mind back. You yeah. are the one who said anything Yaya Bello says, yes. you are going to follow. And the video has gone viral. Vira. Vira. Yes. Let me remind you of what you said some time yes. ago. Yes. Take a listen to Senator Smart at AME. Yes. This was Senator Smart at AME before the 2019 senatorial election. Take a listen. Only a foolish man will be thinking that I will have one while they have issues with Yaya Dosa I will not have any issues with Yaya Dosa let me tell you. It will never happen. Because when people didn't believe in me, he believed in me. So I will not fight him. I can do anything. I can defend Yaya Bello to any level. Because when people didn't believe, Yaya Bello stood this guy. He said, I believe in smart. So I will not betray him, inshallah. Nothing will happen. We will work together. Whatever is the decision of Yaya Dosa Bello, I will stand by it, whether it is good or it's bad, I will stand by it. That's the lesson of my loyalty to him. You know, and I have some people have been talking. Whenever Yaya Dosa Bello is leaving office, if he likes, let him bring my worst political enemy as his successor. I will support him. I'm not in a hurry to buy anything. Whoever Yaya Dosa bring, we will support the person. So let me tell you that I am a progressive, progressive minded person, and I'm a man of faith. I am a man of faith. I am here by the grace of Almighty God. In what my Muslim brother will say, Kadama now, Haka, Kadri, Goaja. It is God who brought me here. Using Yaya Dudabila and all of you. So I will continue to give my utmost best to all of you. Defend our interests at the national level. There is no interest of defending Kogi because Yaya Dudabila is a just and fair person. Am, 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 am I right? Am I communicating? Yaya Dudabila is just and fair. So there's nothing to fight with him. And also is our neighbor, it's our in-law. How are you going to fight your in-law and your neighbor? Do good. The Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. So please continue to give your support to our government in Kogi State and at the, at the federal level. I want to thank you. We'll begin, not to waste much of your time, we'll begin with uh, Kogi West now. All right, Senator Adeyemi. Yes. That was you. In the very well. After your election. No, yeah, after the election. After your election. Yes. So what, what, has, what has changed now? Well, you heard what I said there. That is a just and fair person. When he came on board, his appointment, he spread the appointment. In my central district, we had three to four prominent cabinet members of his government. And to me, these are key positions. And I said, this man is just and fair. As long as just and fair, we'll stand by him. You said anything, not, not, not anything the, that he brings to you because not, he's your not, benefactor. Not, I mean, not, I, not at the expense of the survival of my people. So you can change your stance that, when uh, things change. Once, that, once that, is that the that, position? That, there's, there's a limit to, to, to loyalty. When loyalty becomes foolishness, it, it, it's, it's no longer attainable. I said, as long as you had those are below, maintains justice, fairness, and equity. Mm. I will continue to stand by him. Do you regret what you said? After? I have no regret. I still maintain what I'm saying. You still have your respect for I him. I still have my respect for him. I have nothing against him personally. He is fighting the cause of his people by insisting that the successor should come from his own community. And you disagree with him? I want my people to govern Kogi because we are not slaves. All right. When Sadonna was premier of Northern Region, Pastor mm -hmm. Awoni, a Christian, mm -hmm. and no Yoruba man, was his principal private secretary. Why? Because Sadonna at that time believed in one not. So nobody agitates when there's fairness, when you are part of the system. But I'm saying, with all the other zones, uh, the Gala people govern for 19 years, then you now have the, uh, the Central Ibira people govern eight years, and they want to take another eight years before it comes to us. We are not a conquered people. Yeah, L let's balance the conversation because yes, Governor, Yaya, uh, Governor Yaya Bello tonight yes. will get a chance of uh, response to some of the things that you've said. Yes. And he has uh, his commissioner for information, Kingsley uh, Fan, who, who joins us virtually. Mr. Fan, well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. You heard what Senator uh, Adeyemi has said tonight. He has described that exercise 
exercise as a charade, and he doesn't even feel that that exercise, in fact, held. He's called it a manipulation. What is the stance of your principal in this matter? Thank you very much, um, Sheo, and uh, I want to also say good evening to viewers around the world. It is um, quite unfortunate. L let me just compare this to a very big balloon. Uh, a big balloon is a lie. A small pin is enough to bring that light down. And that's exactly what has happened because when you lie, there will be some level of inconsistency in what you say. He said the election did not take place. When he was confronted with a video of the election actually taking place on that day, he said the counting was faulty. He said it was stage managed. I do not understand what um, he, he meant by a stage managed elections. Those he saw there are party members of the APC and they came out to vote. Meanwhile, our constitution made it very clear as to who is qualified to cast um, his vote. The fact that you belong to a party does not make you a full member of that party. You can be a nominal member of the party if you are not taking any responsibility. Your membership of any party also comes with responsibilities. You must pay your dues. And when you pay your dues, you are issued with receipts. These are the things that qualify you to exercise your right as party members. So those who came out and were able to vote were the financial members of the party in accordance with the constitution of the party. So, Mr. so you can see a Mr. lot of, Fawon, you just a lot of a moment, Just a moment. Just yeah. a moment. You're speaking to what you saw. Now, Senator Smart Adeyemi has said and produced a tape of those who were waiting for hours, according to him, and, could, and we saw them agitating and putting up their party registration slip that in his area and in several areas across the almost 230-something world, that there were no officials to conduct the exercise and the primary never held in those areas. He said the primary didn't hold anywhere. That was what he said. Now you could see that the primary actually held. That lie is enough to completely dismiss. I, I think uh, the, 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 by showing videos of where the primary actually held, it has shown that all he has been saying about it are not true. And you can see, it is, it is obvious, you are watching the video. We are investigating. We have, we have, there are complaints to the party right now, and they are in the fact that some fake, some fake membership slips were issued to people that were not even APC members to come out and foment trouble that day. So what these people need to do is to go back to the constitution of the party, get themselves abreast of the provisions of that constitution, and also that will help them in their future endeavor. So, For so, this, the primary so, health Mr. and Fowl, candidates Mr. are Fowl, matched. Uh, just yeah. a moment. Let's look at this. There are several of the aspirants who uh, threw their hat in the ring, including the deputy governor, including uh, a few members of the governor's cabinet. A few days before the primary, um, uh, some of them stepped down when Governor Yaya Bello endorsed this very man, who was one, who a lot of people would describe as not a strong member of the party in terms of popularity to, to have won that kind of vote, if not for Yaya Bello. Now, not less than four or five of the aspirants have disowned the exercise, and they say that this is simple, uh, simply can be simply described as imposition. I, I think we need to put the perspective very correctly. Those who withdrew, withdrew before the day of the primary. During the stakeholders meeting uh, that was chaired by the chairman of the uh, electoral committee, His Excellency Governor Bello Matali, he actually read out the names of those who had withdrawn from the race. I started by mentioning the name of the deputy governor of the state. Has any of the people that, would, had, that withdrew from the race, have any of them come out to say that they did not withdraw? They voluntarily withdrew from the contest. And those that were left, including distinguished senator Smart at the went into that contest. And the result was what you see. They are crying foul because they lost the election. That's very common to politicians. When they lose an election, they will come out to discredit it. You could see from this video that the primary actually held. Now, give us an understanding. If you're insisting that the primary actually held, 
Uh, who was the, the chairman of that primary sent from Abuja? Is uh, His Excellency Governor Bello Matali? So I am not in just a moment, no, just a moment, your, just a moment. Your, let me land I just asked you a question. No, I, I will land I, on this. Just a moment. I will land on this. I'm the one okay. asking the question and I'm moderating. If you please kindly okay. allow me to do my job. Who announced the result of that primary? The secretary of the committee on behalf of the chairman of the committee. So why was the chairman of the, the committee? Why was it that the chairman of the committee, the secretary who announced the chairman it? of the the chairman of the committee, had to return to Zamfara because on Saturday they were to have some rerun elections in his state. So he came to Kogi State to set the ground for the primary. He addressed the stakeholders. He rolled out all the information that all the aspirants and stakeholders need to know about it. And a day to the primary, he had to fly back to Zamfara to oversee the rerun election as the leader of the party in Zamfara State. So give us an understanding, okay, because our light Senator Smart at AME, I'm just moderating this process, so allow Senator Smart at AME to be able to respond to a few things that you've said. You are an Okuma too, meaning that you are from the Kogi West Senatorial District. Now, Senator Smart at AME had said, it is unfair for anyone from Governor Yaya Bello's Senatorial District uh, to fly the flag of the party, considering the issue of fairness and equity, the fact that no Okun person or no person from the Kogi West has ever uh, governed Kogi State since inception. From your own point of view, is it fair for the governor to have endorsed and according to those of your party saying, this is pure imposition? Thank you very much. I I'm not sure that even St. Osmart Adeyemi has any evidence that the governor actually endorsed anybody for the primary. He told anyone that, uh, that was interested to go and pick forms. And let me tell you this, those who come to equity must come with clean hands. St. Osmart Adeyemi came after Senator Tundi Ogbeha to the Senator of Kogi West. St. Tundi Ogbeha was there between 1999 to 2003 and 2003 to 2007, he had all the opportunities in this world to continue, but he decided to step down and allowed it move to Kababunui Jumu, where Senator Smart Adeyemi took over from 2007. Smart Adeyemi won 2007, he won again in 2011. And when it was the time for it to go to Yagba Federal Constituency, he insisted on running for the third term. As at that time, Yagba Federal Constituency had not produced a senator. So he took the ticket of the PDP that ordinarily and in line with the fairness that he's now the, um, the apostle of, it should have gone to the Agba federal constituency. But he insisted and took the ticket by force in 2015. And then after losing the election, he almost became a political offer. He, had to, he was finding his, his feet. And then in 2019, the governor, because we were already rooting for another um, aspirant in person of uh, Mr. Tony Akonle to be the senator. But the governor called us and said, come, I want to lobby you. All, you, all of you that came from Kogi West, I want to lobby you to please support Senator Smart at the There were a lot of arguments that day. But, you know, at the end of the day... You, you're explaining the senatorial about, issues, but I, I'm asking wait, you a wait, question in relation no, to the governorship somewhere. race and, and the somewhere. issue of power balance. I am, I, am, I, am drawing, I am drawing an analogy that if you want to talk about fairness, you must also be fair. So in that 2019, the governor lobbied us to support Senator Smart at the ME, which we did. And he went to the Senate for the third time. And as at that time, Yagba Federal Constituency had not produced a senator. In, two, in 2023 again, he came out again to contest that position. That will be the first time he will be contesting without a federal constituency producing. Now he's talking about the governorship and he's saying he's fighting for his people. This is selfishness of the highest order. When politicians want something for themselves, okay, so they will go and preach that they want leave, it for their leave people. Senator Smart he should have position, just a moment. Leave Senator should Smart at the end. Just a moment. Just a moment. Mr. Mr. Farrell, just a moment. Leave uh, Smart at the end out of this matter. As 
any person from Kogi West being a governor in Kogi State ever since inception? No, to the best of my knowledge. Is it okay for anyone from Kogi West to have their turn based on the agitation of your people, Mr. Fanwo? It is okay for anyone from Kogi West to have the turn to become the governor of Kogi State. Mind you, this person that would come would be the governor of the entire state. The division that we inherited in 2016, we've been able to collapse those walls of division. Nobody's talking about ethnicity anymore, except politicians that want things for themselves and will say that they are for their nepotism. People. That this is a relation, yes. Mr. Ododo is a relation of Governor Yaya Bello. Is it good? for nepotism to be introduced in this in at this point he may have to prove he may have to prove the allegation that uh, uh Udo was a relation uh, of the governor all right those Don't who for understand moment. the governor very yeah. well they know that the governor is not nepotic the governor is not tribalistic the reason why the governor wanted senator smart adm to go to the senate in 2019 was because he thought that kogi will have a fair chance of pushing for the Senate presidency. All right, just a moment. Just Senator Smart Adiemi would, have, would be a third time senator and be able to take that. The governor knew that the Senate president is the number three man in the country. And he would still push that someone who is not his relation, someone who is not from his central district, should go for that position. Me, 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 he was me, not even afraid that he would be under the Senate yeah. president. Let me, let so me, it, let me it, give it, Senator it, Smart Adiemi some 60 seconds or, or 180 seconds to respond to some well, of this. Let me just uh, erase some misconceptions and misrepresentation. Yagba Fera cons uh, constituency had two senators before I came on board. Person Diawoni was a senator. Maybe you, you, were, you were still very young then. Senator Justice from Egbe was a senator. So you have had two senators from Yagba Federal Constituency before. I was appointed the DG campaign for Yaya Doza Bilo second term. If I have no value to add, they wouldn't appoint me the DG campaign. But they needed my central district to give support to Central, where the governor comes from. No single central district can deliver a governor. So you need on that central district. So I was appointed the DG campaign for a second term. I wonder why he was not appointed then. I was appointed because they know I have value to add. And that is why it was much easier for us to win the West and the Central and Yaya emerge because the PDP at that time had a candidate from the East. Now, let me quickly let you know that in this coming governorship election, the people of Central, in their wisdom, great people, the PDP, the opposing party, they didn't feed the candidate. None of them got formed. Why? The people of the Central, where the governor comes from, said it is not their turn. It is the turn of the West. So PDP is not having a candidate from Central to contest this election because they know that, for, for fairness, it, is this, is, uh, it should be zoned to, 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 to West, where I come from. He was one of those who encouraged me. I have him here on phone. On phone. I can give you the text on the 17th of November where he said, and you can read it, you can show it to the, to the world. This same guy, he's saying, if you are going to contest, I will support you, sir. You are better than most Okun people. You can have a look. You can put it on camera. Now, you know, I said in every society when people are enslaved, there are the people we call the happy slaves who think they are part of the ruling class. Yeah. But they are being used. So He's one of them. Let me give you just 10 seconds to give your final thought because we need to close this now. I can assure you that if APC should go ahead with their plan, the next governorship election will not be as easy as they think because we're going to educate our people. Our people are quite educated now. I mean, politically. Election is not going to be, it's our party. Election is going to be, who is the candidate? Where is he coming from? What are his antecedents? The guy who is coming is the auditor general of the right. local government. Right. And we know all the problems and things that happen in local government that I don't want to go into now. Right. Okay, and I will pray they will not push us to start opening some things, some Pandora buses. All right. Let me allow you, Mr. Fanwo, to uh, take the next 60 seconds to wrap up. Your final thought. Thank you very much. A candidate has been matched for a party. We are not talking about tribalism. We are not talking about ethnicity. The Kogi people are united behind the candidates of the APC and by the grace of God on November 11, we shall win that election. If anybody is saying because um, there was no aspirants from Kogi Central vying for the PDP ticket, are we also saying that there were no aspirants from Kogi East vying for the PDP All ticket? Right. We just need to come to equity 
with clean hands. So they need to shelf right. their satanic agenda to ensure that our party does not have a candidate. They failed in that. We organized the freest and fairest primary. In the All right, Mr. Kingsley Fowler, the Commissioner of Information and Communications in Kogi State, Senator Smart, thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming tonight. I appreciate it.